Hey guys, it's Legomatic9, and today I'm going to be doing a video on this brand new custom Lego Mandalorian. So this guy is completely made up by me. It's not based off of any pre-existing character or any already existing Mandalorian out there or something like that. So he's completely made up by me. Uh, so with that being said, I was able to make up a name for him as well. So I just found a Mandalorian dictionary, picked out a few cool words, and came up with the name Aden Galar. So this guy has a lot of very cool elements that I can't wait to show you guys. He's probably one of my most ambitious and one of my best figures I've made to date. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the close-up on this figure. So here is Aden Galar. Now, as I was saying before, this figure has got to be the best Mandalorian that I've made to date. Just all of the sculpted elements and all the little features I've included on this figure, all of the, like, the functionality and stuff I've included, I just think makes this the best figure that I have to date. I think it's actually one of my, I think it is my best figure I've made to date. I just think it looks, it's just great. So, uh, starting off, we'll start off with his gun here, just to get that out of the way. It's just a modified Brick Arms STGX, I believe was the name. Uh, so what I did is I chopped off the magazine, and then I glued on a Minifig Hat uh, laser sight, uh, and then I also glued on a Brick Arms AK-12 optic, as well as a Tiny Tactical adjustable stock. I just glued that on there just because I thought it looked cool and I had a spare. Uh, so then I gave it a wash in silver and gunmetal and then I painted the stock a brown color just to make it look a little more old fashioned. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into all the little details in this figure, which there is a lot to cover so this might take a while. So starting off with the legs here, um, as you can see, I've got the sculpt going on there. Now, a lot of this guy was actually inspired by Django Fett's armor, mainly because I was using the Sideshow Collectibles uh, Django Fett figure as a reference. Uh, I know I said before that I wasn't using reference. Well, I had to for some of the Mandalorian armor uh, just to get a feel for all of it. So I uh, kind of used Django's idea of having the thigh armor on there. So I sculpted that on there um, and then painted that. And I sculpted on the knee pads as well, which is actually two layers, but the paint kind of... Uh, Paint kind of hides that a little bit. Um, so I sculpted the knee pads on there. I was going to do kind of the shin guards, but I just felt like it'd be a little too crowded, so I decided to leave those out, which I think looks fine. And he's got the boots painted on there, kind of weathered. Looks pretty nice. He's got the black undersuit, uh, which I think looks pretty cool. He's got some cloth straps that are uh, glued on and just wrap around the sides, and he's got some pouches glued on there as well. Just kind of bulk them up a little bit. Uh, so the legs, pretty simple. I think those were the first thing I did on this figure, so it was uh, pretty easy for that. Now moving on to the chest here. The chest, I actually made a Mandalorian-style armor chest, uh, I think, last year. I was working on a pre Vizsla that I was going to be updating, and it just turned out awful. So I decided just to scrap it at that point because I was just sick of it. But then I sculpted this one for this guy, and I just think it turned out so much better. So hopefully you guys agree. Uh, that I just really think that armor looks clean, um, at least cleanly sculpted. I just think it looks really nice. Uh, so I think the color scheme also complements it pretty well with the gunmetal and the gold. I just think it looks super nice. He's got the little red display there as well. And uh, yeah, so then he also has a cloth belt, uh, which is actually two layers, and it wraps all the way around the figure. He's got some more pouches glued on there, so you can see that it wraps all the way around. Um, so we'll move on to the gauntlets before we get onto the back. Uh, so, uh, the gauntlets here are actually sculpted. They're a lot better than uh, Joel Far this guy's gauntlets, where I thought I was like, oh man, these are so cool, sculpt the gauntlets, even though they're like super under-detailed and just not that great. Uh, so these ones, a lot more detailed because it's got those little lines right there. It's got that actually part, you know, sculpted up more. I think this is more of the, uh, the dart shooting gauntlet. It's got the little tube there. Uh, he's got the little details sculpted in there. It's kind of hard to see the those. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see that little detail in there. Um, you can just see all the all the sculpt going on there. I think it looked really nice on this side. Uh, I like this side a little better. It's kind of got the missile sculpted on there. It's got some red just for a button. Then he also has a flamethrower sculpted on to the bottom there as well. Uh, so you can see that he's got some black buttons and stuff right there. So I think that looks really nice. Uh, he also has a wire there as well. The shoulder pads are made out of a cut up soda can. So inspiration for that idea came from Noble Artists because he does a lot of metal work. And the uh, shoulder armor for Mandalorians is kind of thin compared to everything else. So I decided just to use metal for those. And I just think it looked a lot better. So moving on to the back here, he has a custom uh, cloth cloak or whatever, cape, mini cape thing, whatever you want. 
Uh, and then he also has this custom made jetpack. So this is like what the jetpack looked like before. And you can see it goes around the minifigure's neck, whereas this one does not. So this one, I moved the thrusters up, and then I also used a, uh, I think it was a Doctor Who sonic screwdriver, actually. I got one of those in a trade I did with a friend, and uh, I used that and just shaved it down everywhere and glued it on there as the main rocket, and I think it looked pretty nice. And then I gave this thing a really nice paint job uh, with some just, I really like the white and the red detail on there as well. And the cool thing about this, though, is that it actually is removable. So inspiration for this came from my buddy Sander. You guys might know him. I'll leave a link to his uh, Flickr stream in the description below, but definitely check him out. Um, so this is mainly his idea with the removable jetpack. So you can actually just pop this out like that. He's got the armor right there. And I just uh, poke some holes in it with some, uh, some little wires or whatever. Just poke those in there like that. And it stays in there actually pretty nicely. It uh, doesn't wiggle out or anything, so let me just put that back in there like that. So it's not going to fall out if I like wiggle the figure or anything like that. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's not going to stay in there too. Like you can actually take him out if you actually want to. Uh, so moving on to the helmet here. This is based off of the Mandalorian Stalker armor. Uh, I was originally going to go with the more classic look, but I decided just to do something different, and I really like how this one turned out. So pretty much all of the gray you see on there, all of that kind of gray color, that's all sculpted on there. I kind of elevated that up from the visor, as you can tell. Uh, if you don't believe me, check out my Instagram. I got pics up of there of this guy work in progress. So you guys can see all of just the bare sculpt before I painted it. Um, I might include a picture of that later on in the video, but we'll see. Uh, so you can see all of the really nice paintwork on there that I think uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you can, I really like the gold visor too. I really like that. I think Sanders is the one who suggested that to me. I just and I uh, I really like how that turned out. Uh, he's got some other details painted on there, like on the side there. Uh, I really like the detail on like the top of his helmet with the gold and the white and everything. He's got the white lines up there with the also got the red lines too. Then he has this really nice scratch on the side of his helmet right here. I just want to put on, put in some battle damage, and I think it looks pretty good. Uh, kind of outlined in some black and gunmetal, and then I dry brushed on some red for some blood. Uh, and then just other little details. He also has a uh, Clonary Customs rangefinder, uh, which looks pretty good. I just modified that a little bit so it fit in there and uh, lay flush, and it looks pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for... Uh, the close up on this figure, so let's go ahead and end this off. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a few other Mandalorians that I'm starting to plan out a little bit. I'm actually working on one with Sander right now. Uh, he's actually in the process of sculpting the helmet, and I think he's actually going to be sending that out fairly soon. So we're going to be making one together, which should be pretty cool. Uh, and then I'm also thinking about doing maybe a pre Vizsla, and then I'm also thinking about doing a Boba Fett, because I don't really have a Boba Fett that is up to my standards anymore. My old one, I thought it was really good, but now at the time I just think it's not that great so I'm gonna go ahead and probably make another one of those might even wait until Rogue One to do that because he might be showing up there um, so let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments below also don't forget to like this video share it if you want uh, then also check out my other social media pages all will be linked in the description below so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later